It's round four of elections, and Israel is in political crisis. My name is India, and today we are going to find out what the world can learn from this historic fourth election to decide who will run the most debated country in the Middle East. According to the EIU Democracy Index, Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East allowing all their citizens to speak for themselves at the polls. But now, Israel is having its fourth election in just two years because of the political stalemate crisis. So let me explain to you why this is happening and what we should all learn from this dire situation. Israel is a parliamentary democracy, and in this type of government, the prime minister's position is given to the leader of the majority coalition of parties in the Israeli parliament, also known as the Knesset. With dozens of political parties in Israel, there are a wide range of political views represented in the government. Unlike with the dominant two-party system in the U.S., Israel's system is an example of democracy promoting political diversity, which is incredibly important in a free society. But with so many different opinions, it can cause issues when it comes to forming one stable government, which Israel has been struggling to do for two years. Israel's current prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, is under indictment for corruption charges and he's been in office for around 12 years. Because of this, the people can't agree on whether or not they want the current prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, to continue as Israel's leader. Therefore, the country gets thrown into elections again, 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 and again. The 120 Knesset members from various political parties meet right here. This building, located in the heart of Jerusalem, is a symbol of democracy in the Middle East. But it is also a grave reminder of the current power struggle. This political crisis is affecting the economy and the lives of Israeli citizens, which is why they often come here to Balfour Street in Jerusalem to demand change. After all, Israelis are very passionate about politics and want their voices to be heard. The Prime Minister's house is right behind me, and the fact that Israelis can openly protest in front of the Prime Minister's home like this is a powerful testament to Israel's embrace of free speech and the right to assemble. Basic rights that many countries in the Middle East deprive their citizens of. On one hand, Israel's fourth election shows the flaws in a system of politicians that can't come together to form a stable government for their own people. But on the other hand, it does serve as an example of the democratic process in the Middle East. And true democracy may not be the solution to all the world's problems, but at least it gives the people a voice. Because the right to be heard is a right every human being should have. This is democracy in the Middle East. This is Inside Israel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.